here's my guy coming in and hopefully going to take the OFE motor off my hands. That's what the plan is. Money for the Falcon. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going fine, man. Thanks. How's I would fun? shake your hand, but I've kind of been down on the cold a little bit there. Yeah, it's going around. Yeah. Let me show you what we got over here. I've heard everything in the world while I've tried to list this thing, and everybody's got a wonderful opinion, so... And I have no opinion because I don't know anything about these FEs, so. Well, that's all I build. I do it. I have a machine shop I do at night, and I, fo I specialize in the uh, FEs and the Y blocks, and we kind of focus on blue collar performance. So. Cool. All right. Well, it is a uh, later than 1970 block. It's got the ridges on the outside, which when Ford switched over to another uh, another casting company after they quit casting internally, they um, had strengthened the molds by putting those ridges in. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is good information. 72 Ford truck D2TE exhaust manifolds. Head numbers are C8AEH, which translates to a, just a production line 68 head. You'd have seen those on everything from stock 390s, 352s. It was a really common production head. Pretty uh -huh. good head. Uh, not anything I would use in crazy performance, but pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the engine has been a part at one time, and the engine builder, if you look back here, the engine builder that did this block wasn't an FE guy. The rear main cap, this plug here, is actually supposed to be turned around the other way on an FE block. It's one of the only blocks Ford did that had it that way. Oh, wow. Putting this in this way will actually load pressure on the back of the camshaft and will either cause your uh, problem to load on your front plate or it could eventually, if there's movement, pop this out and you'll have a problem um, okay. if it's in high performance. But uh, it looks like a good... How about... How about the intake and stuff? This uh, that intake this is a 427 that, Elderbrock deal. Yeah, it's F427 Elderbrock. That intake manifold was copied off of the Ford Police Interceptor Ford uh, 427 Sidewinder intake. Really cool. great intake. Probably the only from when they started building that intake in the early 70s uh, until Elderbrock started building the Performer RPM. There was no better single four intake. Uh, dual plane intake that was built wow. um, and actually with a little bit of mild port work it flows as good as the modern intake what about that very cool well man i hope this really works out well for you oh, and works. i'm gonna i'm gonna apply this to the fun for on my project build my first car back and uh hope you have as much success with yours as i'm hoping i have with mine right. now, if i can help and, you on yours i'm, I'm more than happy to. all right and thanks again man no problem yeah they weigh 756 pounds. Seven feet feet. Without the well, with the iron intake, so that one probably weighs a little less. Yeah, it'd probably be better. Can we pause this? I saw my little John Deere, won't it? Is that good? Picking it up in a 75 crew cab. Big block in it? Uh, no, it's only supposed to put 302 in it. It originally came with 360. Got a 302 in it. That's a cool old truck right there. I love those old four doors like that. Don't see many of them. I got five. And he's got five of them. They're show offs everywhere. <laughs> 